Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, I first want to apologize for not having uh, any uh, new, really new videos, but been having some real bad PC issues. And um, to be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm getting very busy with these custom covers, which is awesome. And more and more people are sending me messages, more and more people are buying them. Um, some people are buying two at a time. And I can't thank you guys all enough for, for helping making this a success. Uh, the beta testers, the people who've made videos, um, who are on the promotional program, things like that. Everything is working out good. Um, the purpose for this video right here is to actually just clear up a couple of things on how you guys are going to measure your tanks. If we look down at this tank right here, which has Crazy Diamond in it, and I just fed him. And we just put him in the hide so he can, you know, scrunch up in there and help digest his food. And I'm going to do this measurement on the, uh, sorry, there's a lot of traffic outside right now. But I'm going to do this measurement on a 10-gallon. But this is not going to change how you're going to measure for your custom covers on any size tank. If we go ahead and take a look at this tank, we have two areas. You have the area up here, which is where your screen, t screen cover usually sets, okay, which is great. Now the custom covers are going to be designed for two purposes, all right? They're going to be designed that they can go on top of this screen cover, okay? And they're also designed so that they can fit inside. If you guys look down here, there's a lip. So if you want to put the cover on first and then continue to use the screen cover with your clips to hold down the tank, that's fine. If you cannot afford the locking system that I have come up with, something like that will work out perfect for people who already have screen covers. Now, let's get to the measurements. This is how it has to be measured. Now guys, this has to be accurate because if it's too small, the cover's gonna fall right through. All right, so what we wanna do, and I'm hoping this is gonna come out really good, we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna place it inside on that lip, all right? And then we wanna measure across to the other lip, right there. Let's see if I can get this camera over and give us a look down, all right? It's not a very good tripod I have. So in all essence of things, when we're looking at this and we measure into this lip here, this is from inner lip to inner lip where the cover is going to set. It's nine inches and a half. It's nine and a half inches to the inner lip. If you want to go a little bit more, we got... Uh, nine inches and uh, three-eighths it looks like so that's how you measure that it's gonna be from the inner lip to the inner lip on both sides and then across this way this angle here we're gonna measure across sorry crazy diamond and what we want to do is measure across the top in the same exact manner on the inside of the tank on that lip all right so this side is actually not this is actually 19 and a half exactly guys we have to try to be as close and as accurate as we quite possibly can with this 10 20 30 gallon tanks regular top fins um what's the other company that makes them uh i want to say an aquarium god or something but it's not it's my bad, Aquion. Those are basically the two tanks. I believe Topfin makes this one. The difference between those two tanks, actually, guys, is going to be about a half inch across. The length is usually the same, and some of those 10 gallons might be a little bit higher or shorter, which is not going to really matter. And if we look over here on this particular tank, it has notches over on the side here, right here. Okay, so we look down at these notches. These are so you can get wires in there and get your thermostats and stuff like that. If your tank does not have this, I can cut a notch into your custom cover to allow you to get all of your wires and everything like that in there. All right, I'm hoping this video is going to come out good and I hope this gives everybody an idea. Um, of how important it is to get the measurements accurate and I'm hoping that this is going to make things easier for you guys When the PC is fixed and up and running I promise I'm going to get back on track 
get all the informative videos up for you guys this weekend hopefully i'm trying to get the hide hanging uh the water filter system and also how to build a second level for your uh for your reptile for your pet snake um and those videos i have they're made the problem is is my computer is just not running long enough for me to be able to upload it to youtube my computer runs for about 10 minutes and then freaking Microsoft, it, it just explodes and stops and freezes. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get this up in high definition. If not, I'm going to have to re-record this and do it on the iPhone and upload it through Apple's iPhone. Alright guys, I hope this makes things easier for everybody. And any questions at all guys, just ask me. I'm willing to work with everybody on this. My main goal here is to help everybody better the life of their creature of habit while in captivity. Okay? So when we have a finished cover and it's all done with trim and everything like that, it looks very similar to that. These are just the concept pieces and we can see how good that sits in there. These are the concept clips that I just started demoing out. And if you guys have seen the more recent videos of the uh, of the light holders you're gonna see that they're actually very nice and sleek and everything like that once again this is just a concept everything has to be concepted first guys before it becomes final alright guys I gotta cut this short it's six minutes and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this up in ten minutes on YouTube thanks guys